Innocent here, and welcome back to Hitman 2. Now look, the new destination, Maldives Haven Island, or Maldives. It's pretty much right after USA, New York, and you can only get it if you have the expansion pass, or pack. Now, I'll tell you one thing, I've been really looking forward to this. New York was awesome, and Maldives is probably going to be even more awesome, because just look at it. It's resort. It's like Paradise Island, like, right there. Because, well, Hitman needs a little bit of a break from all the killing, all the badassness he's been doing in New York, or North Atlantic, we USA, what's in the Cree, India, Colombia, Miami, New Zealand, Hokkaido, and yeah, and all of them. You know, maybe it's just time for him to take a break, chillax, and just let all of his his evil side just swish right away but nah it's not gonna end that way or it's not gonna start that way you should complete golden hay I just did golden hay I don't know what the game's talking about the last resort who cannot wait for this so let's go ahead and start spoiler alert yeah get So, this is paradise. If you can afford it. Gentlemen, glad to hear you made it out of New York. Where are we? Olivia decrypted the Data 47 recovered from the bank. We isolated three transactions from Providence partner accounts. All made out to Haven, a small corporation operating out of the Maldives. And what does Haven do? To the public, they specialize in reputation management for the rich and famous. The real money, however, comes from the covert reconstruction of identities for wealthy criminals. They make people disappear. The partners are using Haven to acquire new identities. Yes. Olivia's been attempting to hack the Haven servers, but the owners of Haven are manually resetting the access keys every ten hours. That unfortunately, makes them targets. Haven Island is a true tropical paradise. Owned by the company's founder, Tyson Williams, the island is used by Haven as a combined headquarters and client entertainment center. Current and potential clients are ferried to the island and treated to the very best the Maldives have to offer. Michelin star chefs, a full massage spa, private huts, exercise facilities, and all the comforts of a luxury island resort are made available to them. 47, we'll be sending you in as a potential new client. We've put together a convincing cover story. You're Mr. Reaper, a thief for hire looking to disappear for a while. Your mission on the island is simple. You need to eliminate the three owners of Haven. Tyson Williams, founder and rumored tyrannical CEO of Haven. Ludmilla Vitrova, a former confidence artist hired by Williams to serve as a client recruiter and handler. And Stephen Bradley, technical wizard and the brains behind Haven's proprietary software platform. With the owners gone, Olivia will be able to penetrate the Haven servers long enough for her to secure the new partner identities. I've uploaded all the information we have on the island and the three targets. Best of luck, gentlemen. Hmm. I don't rely on luck. Well, a little wouldn't hurt. Eliminate Tyson Williams, Stephen Bradley, and Ludmilla Vitrova. Oh, I cannot wait for this. I just cannot wait. The Tropical Island. Islander. 
It kind of looks similar, yeah, it kind of looks similar to the Florida one. And to the Italian suit in Sapienza, Italy. It's just, Hitman, it's just everywhere he goes, he's got to dress professional. And hey, that's good. That's how he gets all the ladies. Hitman being a badass and just doing what he loves doing. So, let's start this. Welcome to the Maldives, 47. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island, primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island while Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. This is it, 47. Eliminating the three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the Providence Partner data. Best of luck, 47. Did I just see Hitman wear... Oh my god, he is wearing shorts. Oh my lord. That is the first time I've seen his that sexy legs. Villa Vitrova, English-born former confidence artist of Russian Welcome descent and current client handler for Haven. Careful with this one. Alright, what you got to say? Thank you. Are you one of the owners? Yes, indeed. I'm Ludmila Vitrova, co-owner of Haven and your gracious host for this day. I suspect we'll be seeing more of you today. Oh, I'm sure of that, Miss Petrova. Wonderful. Your late booking has me intrigued. In the meantime, our staff will take good care of your needs. Thank you, Miss Petrova. Come find me when you're ready, Mr. Reaper. I think we have lots to talk about. If you haven't been to your hut yet, I highly recommend it. There's a letter there for you, which you may find interesting. Thank you, Miss Vitrova. All right. So I pretty much got to get the key to my hut. That okay? There's Stephen Bradley and Tyson Williams is all the way over there. Yep. I already got the nice greeting. Beautiful place indeed. Welcome to Haven. Yep. Here is the key for your personal. Thank you. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh, and Miss Vitrova asked me to tell you that she has left a personal message for you in your hut. Have a good day, sir. Yep. You saw the key that she, that they gave me, right? Shortcut. Because I'm the predator and I'm on the hunt for my prey. I can see where you're going, game. I can see. So it's pretty much this one. Mr. Reaper, oh, welcome. Oh, I'm here at your service, so if there is anything you need, please, don't hesitate to ask. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to ask about anything because Hitman can pretty much do everything himself. Alright, let's see what we got here. Swimwear. Ooh. I might check that out a little later. Okay, note on bed. This is what she wanted me to look at. A note from Ludmilla Vitrova. I wonder what she wants from you, 47. Regardless, it would be a shame to keep her waiting. Ooh, yeah, this is a little concerning. Maybe she wants to do business with me. Maybe she wants to be my girlfriend. Maybe she wants to, you know... You know, just do anything she can to be off the top. Be off the target. Look, look at Hitman. Look at his sexy pink trousers. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> oh my God, this is already a good destination. Miss Vitrova. About to hang up. <laughs> Tobias Reaper. I read your note. Excellent. I reviewed your file prior to your arrival, and I found it very intriguing. I have an offer for you. If you're interested, you can find 
find me over at the restaurant. I'll keep it in mind. Wonderful. I hope to see you there. So she must know that I do killing for a living. Or the little back backstory they gave me for this trip or this mission may seem a little intriguing to her, which pretty much she said it did. And maybe she wants to do a little bit of stealing herself. Maybe a little killing herself. Maybe she's using me for her bidding. I could just... I could run in the water. Oh my god. This is what I've always wanted to see from Hitman. And there's Vitrova right there. Let's just get to the restaurant. Dang, it's a nice place. Salsa dancing. Cuban food. Cuban night. That's what, that's what I meant to say. There's a blending in chair where I could just blend in and hang out to myself. And of course, you got all these guards. That pretty much just ruins Hitman's experience of being to himself. He just can't take a break, can he? He's always has somebody to look after. Or look out for. All these guards just ruined the fun time. It's a, it's not like you're enjoying your vacation, but you have to actually, you know, spectate everywhere you go on your vacation. Mr. Reaper. So good. <laughs> He's like, get all of it already. So good to see you. Oh. You mentioned an offer. Yes. It's a little embarrassing, but we've had an incident. A theft. Okay, sit down. The thief is an employee here. A person working in Mr. Williams's villa at the other end of the island. What was stolen? A USB drive containing some sensitive information. Personal information which I would rather not fall into the hands of others. So, my offer is this. Obtain the USB drive from the thief without alerting anyone at the villa. The thief is likely still there. I can't get you inside, so you'll have to use that particular skill set of yours to gain access. Do that, and I'll convince Mr. Williams to give you a 50% discount on our service fee. That's a million dollars, Mr. Reaper. A generous offer. The information must be valuable. Mostly to me. It's very personal. Please call me as soon as you've recovered it. Very well. I'll call you. Oh! So maybe this little yeah, keep it real. So this mission she wants me to do maybe it has something personal to do with uh, you know, a little bit more about her backstory. You know about like what she's really up to. Maybe she wants to share her information with me, so she, you know I'll get more out of her, more evilness out of her. Maybe she wants to make a deal with me about you know. Doing some dumb, doing some evil bidding for her. I may be wrong, but you know when enemies are the main targets that you have to kill that that tell you that usually tell you this stuff just makes you intrigued because it's like you can't help but you know do what they want you to do. So this is a restricted area. Are you deaf or what? You're not allowed to be in here. Okay, I'm sorry. You know what that guy right there kind of looks like? Hades from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Doesn't he look like him? I was going to point the gun at him, but he's going to shoot me if I pull it out. Okay, so Tyson's in there. Might as well just go ahead and take him out while we're here. Or that. But if we do, it's going to... Uh... uh Interfere with the mission that we have to do for Valtrova. Oh yeah, cameras. Forgot about them. Oh, damn, there's another one. There's another one. Boy, oh, Impact noticed. Come on. Ah, it's, it's locked. How beautiful that is, man. I already see a place to go. Over this wall. Trespassing? Oh god, considered a hostile. Clear? In a beautiful environment like this, or a beautiful Haven Island, Paradise Island like this, you think you'd be considered trespassing. But no. Beautiful places can be dangerous too. 
All right, search the th search for the thief in the facility. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need disguise for this. Security tapes. Okay, so they might be looking for the thief as well. Yeah. I I'm gonna uh keep stick to the mission with um Valtrova. Because, you know, this mission's really interesting to me, and I want to really know more about it. Okay, follow mission story. I'll look at it once I take out this guy. Anyone there? Hang on, hurry. Huh? Ow, God, that sounded painful. Okay, Bill and Guard. Okay, let's look at the intel. So overhearing a Haven security standout revealed that a USB... Oh, so she's supposed to be looking for a USB drive. Belonging to Tyson has been stolen. So, like she did mention, one of the the villa security or somebody in this facility is, you know, a thief who stole something from Tyson, and Valtrova apparently wants it. And Valtrova's apparently, you know, she was hired by Tyson, so maybe he's. Maybe she's betraying his own, you know, company. Because Tyson is the owner. Well, Bachava is too, and Steven. But Tyson, he's the main target. Because, you know, the main target's usually the ones that are really hard to get to. And they're the ones that are surrounded by a, a load of guards. Ah, of course, hang on. Okay, search the facility. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, we're underwater. A facility that goes underwater. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, another camera. Yo, I ain't gonna shoot it. I'm not gonna risk getting caught. Alright, he's down there. Uh, okay, obtain the USB. So it's probably in one of these lockers. Oh, voicemail again? Yes. Hello, Miss Vitrova. Just leaving a message. It's me. I, well, I have the item that you asked for. Or, I mean, it's not on me, of course. It's in my locker. Anyway, please come by the villa and pick it up. I really don't feel comfortable with it. If Mr. Williams discovers that I'm it's her. It's her. It's her, isn't it? Alright, I need to get this guy out of the way. Because apparently this is where she needs to go. And I need to get this guy out of the way. So come here. There's a locker there. Conveniently placed. So in you go. Get the gun. And turn and turn this racket off. Get another soda while we're at it. I hate Dr. Pepper. I I I've just never liked it. Okay, underground locker key. So let's obtain that USB and return it to Vatrova or Williams. At the same time, I want to return it to Williams. But I feel like Vatrova probably needs it way more than this uh, psychopath Will Williams. Because look at him. Tell you one thing, he looks like he hasn't been outside in days. Just all the things around him. Either that, or he might just been born that way. I'm not really sure. Because, you know, some people just have that when they're born, and... Everybody's beautiful on their own way, and you should be proud of that. You really should. Let's get out of here. 
Go back to Miss Petrova. I gotta find my way out of here. And I'm gonna get my swimwear back on. But but I gotta come back here anyway. Yes, I did. Apparently they're using the security tapes to find the uh the thief. Dill key, okay, get the disguise back. I'm gonna be coming back here. But I wanna deal with Vitrova first. I don't know, I could kill Williams and deal with him, but you know, just getting off getting off topic and getting off mission can get a little it can become a little frustrating because, you know, you want to deal with one thing, but you have to deal with another. Or you just want to deal with this, but at the same time, you want to deal with another. So, yeah, that can get very, very frustrating. Coins, don't mind if I do. See if she picks up her phone right there. <laughs> oh, she does. Thus you just thus you just keep walking. Wonderful. I knew you were the right man for the job. I could feel it the moment I laid my eyes. <coughs> Should we meet? Yes, absolutely. Come to the spa over by the pool area. Hmm. We're about to do it. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. And that's your about the spa. All right. I'm heading in. Is everything in order as we discussed? Of course, Miss Vidrova. Good. I want the left room all to ourselves. And no screwing up with double bookings like yesterday with Portman and Mr. Bradley. I'm still trying to sort out that mess. Oh, yes, yes, Miss Vidrova. Again, very sorry about that. Hmm. Portman? You think it might be Jason Portman from Hokkaido, Japan? The one that's trying to look like Helmut Kruger? I'm Mr. Reaper. I have an appointment. Ah, yes, Mr. Reaper. You can go right in. Miss Petrova is waiting for you inside. All right. Have a good time. You too. Behind the counter, more like it. Ah, Mr. Reaper. So good to see you again. Follow me, please. Lead the way. Well, let's see where this ends, shall we? All right. Mission Mission's done. You, leave us. Yeah, you sit your butt down and relax. Get a massage or something. Matter of fact, I'm about to get a massage in here. And it's probably going to be by her. You have the item with you? Yes. Can I have it, please? Here you are. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Reaper. I can't tell you how much this means to me, Mr. Reaper. I'm afraid things aren't quite as serene here as they may seem on the surface. I'm slowly beginning to understand. <laughs> Okay, I could probably just push her in. Tyson, Mr. Williams. He's not well. Hasn't okay, I, okay, I don't care. I gotta kill Tyson. I gotta kill Tyson anyway. I gotta kill Tyson anyway, so what's the point? I don't hear I don't wanna hear about her backstory. I mean I could if I wasn't recording, but some of y'all probably said, Eh, just kill the target already. We don't care about the backstory. Well, I'm going to give you what you want. I mean, I know some of y'all probably want to hear it. And I do too, but I know what some of y'all are, most of y'all are probably thinking. Just get on with it. And I agree. Have a nice day. You too. Okay, we're back in the, the villa. And be careful. Because everybody, almost everybody around here is an enforcer. Am I allowed to come in here? Yes, I am. So, Haven Island. This is pretty much, you know, who's mansion. Oh, that's cool. So, he's pretty much in there. And I gotta give it... And I pretty much gotta give the key to... Wilson. Whoa! Wait, what? You're telling me I'm not allowed to go in his own room? Even though I'm a guard here? Don't look at me like that. I'm a guard here too. You guys look so clueless. 
They're just beginners. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Gold idol. Ooh. I should probably get rid of you. Yeah, definitely. Or heck, or heck, I don't even know. I could just wait till he comes back in here. Because I'm afraid he's going to end up walking in here and... Yeah, I can compromise with the mission. Ooh, a starfish. Lethal, yeah, that's what I thought. That is Tyson Williams, CEO of Haven. A reputed paranoid tyrant, Williams is known for his bad temper and heavy-handedness. Mm. Poor guy's sick. Uh, look at him. We've all been there before. We've all been there. Just to let you know, we're here for you. Anybody who ever's like that, just let you know we're here for you. Alright, dude, come on. Because watching you be like that is making me want to be like that. Alright, let's go talk to him. Apparently, I can't go in there, and that's kind of stupid. Because apparently, his bodyguard can go in there. Mr. Williams, I understand you were looking for this. My USB drive. Finally, some good news. And the thief? Taken care of. Good. Good. I like you. Come with me. I'd like to personally reward you for your good work. Sure thing. So he must be the lead, um, bodyguard or lead chief of security. Trust me, I bet you get to go everywhere. People like that would just want to look so badass, have awesome weapons on our backs, and just to get to go everywhere where we want. Hey, how you doing, sir? <laughs> Ooh, secret door. What was the last time you seen those in real life? Oh, right through it. All right, let me just put this thing back in the safe. Change the pin code. All right. That's that. Acquire a handsome report for personal account, my friend. Or maybe. You know what? I have a better idea. What is it? Well, my I guess at least one person in my security detail is in a complete failure. This man just brought me my stolen item. You got anything to say for yourself? I, uh, I guess he got lucky. Lucky? You get your things and get out of my sight! Yeah, Mike. Get on your bike and, and take a hike. You heat. You big gigantic dyke. I guess you just got promoted a personal bodyguard. Thanks. So am I taking his place? Now Mike's been getting on my nerves for months now. <laughs> the man's got no sense of personal space, you know? This promotion is a once in a lifetime opportunity for you. Make the most of it. Rest assured, Mr. Williams. I will. Your new outfit's in that locker behind you. I'm just gonna do some work in here for a while. Make sure nobody comes in. Yes, sir, Mr. Williams. Yes, sir, indeed. Alright. Bodyguard, so that must be the mic guy's disguise. And I'm gonna take out that camera because I don't want any, you know, anybody coming in here saying what, what happened. So let's kill with a starfish. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Alright. 
Just one more target to go. Uh, there's a blood pool on the freaking ground. I need to hide him somewhere. I think I remember seeing a locker somewhere. Yeah. There's a locker somewhere. Dang, look at that split in the back of his head. Dang, Starfish. I'm referring to you, Patrick. When did you start to become so deadly? Make sure nobody's around. Yeah. I remember seeing this locker. So dump him in there. Bye bye, owner. And starfish. So the only one left is Stephen Bradley. So let's get back to the the main haven part of Haven. Whoa! Is that thunder I just heard? Oh my god, the weather's changing. Look! I just took out the main owner, and everything's about to go down once I take out Steven. So he's on a private island. So apparently I can't go over there. It's like, for visitors, you know, coming to Haven, how do you expect people to know that? I mean, seriously. You want your guests to be to roam freely and have fun, but apparently you can't. Because, like I said, a beautiful places can be dangerous. Or beautiful places can actually be the most dangerous if you're not careful. See, look, look at the look at the sky. That is epic. And at the same time, it's kind of scary. That is Stephen Bradley, notorious hacker, chief programmer at Haven, and rumored to be quite reckless in his behavior. I can tell. It looks like he's been jogging. He has all the sweat shit running down his dang body. Now, how am I going to kill him? There's got to be a, an opportunity. Just got to figure out what it is. Music's awesome. Water activity. Okay. Okay, I gotta figure this out here, so... Just give me one second. Let's watch him work- Oh, Look! His bodyguard's doing the exact same thing. Yeah, that's the type of bodyguard everybody needs right there. Yeah, time to feed the pythons. Hello, world. That's what it says on his shirt. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't even do one pull-up. I was terrible in gym class. I'm not really an athletic type of person. I could be his uh, trainer. But I gotta be a personal trainer. So it's apparently this guy right here. Come on, dude. That's it. Three. Four. Get to five. There you go. Now stop. It's like you heard me. How much are those? Ten kilograms. I don't even know how much that is. Look at this twig. Look how skinny he is. That All right, time to fight. Let's see how you deal with one of these. Uh, yeah, that's right. This is steel. I think it's probably gonna end up hitting him in the dang face. All right, time to move on. That's what happens with little skinny dudes like him. Matter of fact, this is a good place to hang out when it's uh, storming. Just gonna start exercising. So 
So where are you going? If he gets in the water, he's gonna get electrocuted. Because you already know what happens when it's thundering and or storming. Okay, I need to figure out what he's gonna do. Because I'm not gonna just follow him around this whole time, just, you know, look at his skinny legs and his the phone on the side of his arm. Because he looks like a girl from a distance. Just saying. Oh, he must be talking to the the scuba diver guy. Is there a way I can blend in? No, I cannot. Alright, hurry up, scuba man. Or surfer. Surfer instructor. So, apparently I gotta get the keys off of him. Uh, Alright, this is gonna be a little tough. Alright, come over here, surfer boy. Hopefully nobody will sight me, because I barely got out of love with that one chick. Ouch! Hit him with a pearl. Okay, I got the keys. Oh, snorkel instructor, okay. Because most of the time if you see people wearing this, you think they might be going surfing. I'm just saying. Okay, one thing. Every single disguise just fits me. It don't matter what it is. Let's sit here while we're at it. Just wait for him to get off his stupid workout. Now, you know, I ain't got time for this. I'm about to get rained on. Mr. Brad, are these yours? Come on, just put them up, dude. Here you go. Alright, so maybe something's gonna happen while he's on the sea do. Let's just see what happens. Hopefully I'm allowed to go in his area. If not, then what the hell? Let's just keep on following you. Dude, can you please just go away? Just leave the guy alone, give him some um, privacy. And stop everything from being recorded. Because, you know, every time I feel like I'm going somewhere peaceful, I'm always being watched. And, dude, you better make this quick. Otherwise, you know, you'll get struck by lightning. I think I am allowed to go go in here. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Kind of surprised. <gasps> I actually felt like real lightning in my damn ear. There better not be lightning that actually sh strikes. Hopefully it will strike um Bradley while he's on the sea dew. Because most of the time when you're in the water, you're attracted by the weather. Dang, that's starting to, it's starting to get loud if I don't hurry up. Or maybe I was supposed to do something before, you know, I get on the sea dew. Install remote explode. Dude, you better hurry up and get on it. I hope so, for your sake. 
Either that, or I could just shoot it. Hit him! Come on, I want to hit the guy! I don't know how I'm supposed to hit him. I hit him. What am I supposed to do now? It's just... So what am I supposed to do now? I pretty much just lost my chance. I just lost my chance. Was that really it? That was really it! Okay, hurry up and hide him. Hurry up and hide him. Get the gun out of the way. I don't know how... Yeah, don't look at me. Don't get near the body, please. Alright, he's by himself. Is there a Mo explosive somewhere? Anybody? Can I create an oil leak? Cause if I can, that'd be awesome. Cannot. Like, what the heck? All the other CDs I could create oil leaks, but not this one. Is this a special one? A non-oil leak? Where it's suited on tight? Or it's padded on really tight so you can't, you know... Pull it off or... Create anything? There's gotta be something. If there isn't, then I don't know what to do. Alright, come on, dude. Come on, I'm about to kill you. I got rid of the bodyguard and that annoying waitress. And your time is about to come. So here you go. So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. That's all we need to do from here. Alright, now let's get out of here. To extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work, 47. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. But first, before I go, I'm gonna get my suit. I wanna see 47 sexy legs again before I leave. Cause, yeah, I can never, I cannot stop looking at that. Well, those sexy legs, but the casual, uh, pants, belt, white shirt, glasses, shorts, or pants. Let's go before it gets, you know, a little too crazy up in here. Gotta find my hut. Yeah, 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 let me through, shut up, no one cares. Alright, now let's go. Let's get out of here. Ugh. Up we go. And sailing we shall go. Done. I'm gonna miss this. Dude, you better be careful. That guy was about this close. Allurative opportunity. Whoa. I want to chill. It's a thing I got. Three star. Oh, yeah. Because I got got trespassing and uh, the cameras. Because, you know, I didn't really want to bother, you know, finding them and... You know, just searching all over the place for him, but... Still. You just gotta be careful. But... That was still fun to do.
So, let's continue on with the story. Deep breath. Okay, skip. your time in paradise productive right we should hear from the others soon we're in whatever your robot did back on the island it worked let's see yeah here we are you found them yeah right here but no wait a minute something's off See here? All those controlling shares, those are basically the backbone of the Providence Empire, but... but they're not going to the new partner identities. What do you mean? I mean, they're allocated to someone else. Everything is. The partners are, are left with no real control. Who is Arthur Edwards? Message from Olivia. Everything's going to plan. We know where the partners are. We have our targets. You're almost there, old friend. Feels... good, doesn't it? We should head out before the storm hits. Time to fulfill our purpose, 47 to take them all down. So, Arthur Edwards. That's gotta be the constant. And he escaped. So, the story still continues, and wherever the next destination is going to be, it might have something to do with him, or more Providence members are going to be, you know, taken care of. And I cannot wait till the next one. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed, because I sure as heck did. And I will see y'all in the next video for Hitman uh, Optional Targets. They're not elusive targets, but they're like, they're downloadable uh, targets that you can do. They're kind of like elusive, but they're not. They're down downloadable side targets that you can do from other countries like Colombia, India. I know there's one once I got Maldives. There was one from Miami and Vermont. And I can't wait to see what they have in store. So, that's it, and I will see y'all then. In is out.